Hello, and welcome to this overview demonstration of Channel Sales Manager's Magento Order Management Module. During this presentation, we will show synchronization of sales order information between Magento and Microsoft Dynamics Nav, creation of Microsoft Dynamics Nav sales orders from Magento Orders, status monitoring of Magento Orders and Microsoft Dynamics Nav sales documents, integration of Magento customers with Microsoft Dynamics Nav customers, and sending invoice and shipment information, including package tracking information to Magento. We will start by reviewing the channel order list page in Microsoft Dynamics Nav. This page represents order data that has been synchronized from the various channels we have set up in Channel Sales Manager, or CSM for short. The orders we are currently seeing are as of the last time the CSM automation performed the synchronization. Normally in a production environment, this would be set up as a scheduled task that would run on a time interval that you determine. For the purpose of this demo, I will be manually executing the CSM automation so that you can see what happens each time it runs. When the automation runs, it retrieves new orders as well as anything that has changed since the last order synchronization. For Magento, we see four orders, one that is complete, and three that are processing. The fact box information for each order gives us some valuable status and balancing information regarding the order. For example, this complete order shows the total amount that we receive from Magento as the order total, that it's been invoiced and the, the invoice totals the same amount, and that we have a post-it shipment. We can use the hyperlinks to navigate to those documents. So here, for example, is the post-it sales invoice, and here is the post-it shipment. For the two in-process orders, we can see that we have outstanding NAV sales orders that exist. Again, we can use the hyperlink to show that NAV sales order. Let's now take a look at the Magento side of the synchronization. Here, we are showing the orders as they look like in the Magento admin. Notice that we have the same four orders, the one complete order, two of them that we're processing, but on this order that was new on our NAV side, it has now been canceled uh, by the uh, customer. Before we go back to NAV, Let's go and place an order for an item. Uh, we can go and select this item here. And as a side note, all the information that you see here, including the pictures and the uh, uh, descriptions, are all coming from NAV data uh, that is managed by our Magento listing management module. So let's add this one to the cart. And we'll go to checkout. And we are going to create a new customer on the Magento side and fill in the information. We'll do a little autofill to save some time. We need to type in a password and we want to ship to this address. We'll choose UPS ground for the shipping. And we'll enter credit card information. And since we're not tied to a live, live credit card processor, uh, we were just going to be using a default demo um, payment type. So we'll get this information in here. Put in a test card number. Give it an expiration date. and continue. So we have all our order information in. We'll go ahead and tell Magento to place that order. One last thing that I'd like to do before running the automation is to ship one of our in-process orders. So let's select that. We'll show the nav document, which is our sales order. We're going to enter a tracking number, which your uh, shipping solution may do uh, for you. But for right now, we are just going to manually enter a tracking number. We will release the order. Okay. 
and post. My setup choice, I chose for shipment and invoice information to be immediately sent to Magento upon posting of the document. We could have also selected for this information to be sent when the automation runs, or only when we manually tell CSM to do so on an order by order basis. Let's now look at our channel order at the moment. Notice that in the fact box, we now, instead of having an outstanding nav sales order amount, we now have an amount invoiced and a post-it shipment. The order status, however, has not changed. It is still in process. There's a lot of checks and balances in Channel Sales Manager, and one of them is to wait for verification from that external channel, our Magento, that it knows that it's been complete. Since we have not run the automation to do order communication yet, we have not received the complete from Magento. It will happen when the automation runs, which we will do so now. So we'll, we can force the automation to run by executing this. The automation is now essentially performing all the tasks that are scheduled to run, but we are particularly interested in order synchronization. Amazon communication is also happening, and it's a wild card as to what we will actually receive since our demo listings on Amazon FBA are live and real Amazon transactions. The orders imported by Amazon are FBA orders, meaning that Amazon fulfills the orders with our inventory that they maintain in the Amazon warehouses. So our automation for FBA orders is set to automatically post uh, those, those orders right away. So we do not see outstanding sales orders, we just right away went to post-it uh, shipments for those orders. We also support FBM orders. Uh, FBM orders are ones that we would ship. Uh, Amazon would take the order and we would do the fulfillment. Those orders operate very much like the Magento orders. We essentially ship the order and then we send the shipment information to Amazon. For our Magento orders, Notice that the order that was canceled on the Magento side is now canceled on the nav side. The order that we had uh, shipped, the in-process order, is now marked as complete by Magento. So Channel Sales Manager also marked it complete. We have received the new order uh, that we received, that we placed uh, for the Luna Bar. And let's take a look at that right now. We can see that we have an outstanding sales order amount of $12.65. And when we open up the sales order, we can see the Luna bar right there. So we had Channel Sales Manager set up to automatically create a, a sales order when we receive the Magento order. We could have also via setup set it up that we do not want Channel Sales Manager to automatically create um, sales orders, nav sales orders, that we would like somebody to review the information in this form before having that being created. So let's take a look at the channel order card uh, to look at some of that information. So we'll open up, and this is more detail about the order as it was received from the channel. So we can see the, the normal information, the, what they have ordered, we also can look at the shipping information, see the ship to address, and also that UPS ground was selected. Channel Sales Manager has a cross-reference table that says when we see a shipment service level from Magento of this code, that it will automatically translate that to the shipping agent and service uh, that we specify in NAV. And we have invoice information. Notice here the total order amount, uh, which is received directly from Magento as a check and balance. And as I mentioned earlier, we are always making sure that those totals match when we create nav documents. So let's go ahead and process the sales order. So again, we will go down and enter a tracking number. Release the order and 
post and ship ship and post the invoice. Again, we are, have this set up to directly uh, communicate with uh, Magento when we post uh, the invoice and the shipment. Let's now see what happened on the Magento side. So we'll go to the admin application one more time, refresh this order data. So we can now see that the order that we had earlier shipped in NAV uh, before the communication was is now marked as complete. We could also see that the new order that we placed uh, is also complete since we shipped it. Let's take a deeper look at that. And we can view the shipments and see that the tracking number that we typed in on NAV is now appearing here in Magento. And we can see that we set up an invoice from NAV uh, with the uh, other amounts. CSM will also handle multiple shipments and invoice, and Magento will know the order is complete when all items on the order have been processed, which is very consistent with the way that NAV works. So let's go back to NAV. And we're gonna run the uh, automation one more time, just to see if all the statuses uh, change. So let's take a look and we can see that our new order are now complete and the sales order is archived. We have, again, our uh, invoice them out and post-it shipments. The automation receives the change in order information from Magento and then changes the CSM status accordingly. Lastly, let's take a look at what happened with customers. So this sales channel defines our Magento business to uh, consumer sales channel. We could actually have multiple stores that would become different sales channels within Magento. So if you had a B2C store as well as a, a, a B2B store, that would be two separate channels and we can handle things a little differently. For the customer side, we have some controls where we're doing some setup. So you can see on this slide, that we have the new customer behavior set to auto create. Also, we have guest behavior set to auto create, meaning that if somebody registers on the Magento side, we will automatically create a NAV customer. We could change this. For example, if we wanted guests just to use one uh, customer uh, in the system, we could define that as a Magento customer, and then it would create a sales order with that Magento customer and just change the ship to address for each one. So let's just see whether we have a new customer. So this serves the sales channel customer list serves as the linkage between nav customers and whatever the channel is. So here we have Magento. If we looked on Magento, we would see customers created with these external IDs. We see our new customer here and that it created it a uh, new nav customer with this number and also created a contact. We also have the possibility of creating new customers here uh, in this linkage and then sending that information up to Magento. So essentially we could create a customer on the Magento side from, from this screen. We would essentially give it the login information that they would need for Magento, tie it to a customer and optionally a contact uh, and then uh, use the send to channel button and it would create the Magento customer. We have the possibility then of creating multiple Magento users that point at the same customer, but have different contacts. So if you have a B2B environment where um, they have multiple people that need to place orders, we can make those sales orders go to the same sale uh, customer, but have different contact IDs. Thanks for watching, and if you have questions or would like more information about Channel Sales Manager's Magento Order Management Module, which integrates Magento sales orders and customers with Microsoft Dynamics sales orders and customers, here's a few website references and contacts for you to take advantage of. Again, thanks for watching.